Today, we're gonna to go over how to switch between apps without showing the jurors your home screen. Welcome back to another Monday Quick Tip where we go over the tips and tricks that make you hot seaters faster, more efficient, and more valuable to your trial teams. Today, we're gonna to talk about what to do if you're using the iPad only for your trial presentation. You need to switch between apps. So let's say you're using trial pad for the beginning of an exam, and then you need to switch to PowerPoint in the middle. You don't wanna necessarily have to go to the home screen, then start the PowerPoint presentation, show everyone kind of your working view, and then start the presentation or the slideshow. Here's how you can get around it. Before the jurors come out, when you've connected to the screens, start that PowerPoint presentation that you're gonna use, even if you're gonna go to trial pad first. Then you can go to trial pad and start running that exam as you normally would, whether you're going over an expert's CV or any other preliminary documents before you get to that PowerPoint. All you have to do is swipe along the bottom of your iPad. And then that will take you to your most recently used app. In this case, it was PowerPoint, and we left it set up so that the slideshow was already started. So the jurors went directly from seeing trial pad to seeing your PowerPoint slides. And then you can march through your slides and talk about whatever you need to. And then if you do need to go back to trial pad, just swipe again along the bottom. Now let's say you don't know if it was your last used app or not, or maybe you have a couple of apps that you're bouncing in between. Maybe you have to show something in Google Maps, for example. If you need to do that, Instead of swiping along the bottom, you kind of move over and get your app sorter view out. And this opens all the recently used apps that you may have used. And from here, you can select which app to go to next. The most important thing about that is the jurors are not seeing what you're seeing. The jurors are only seeing the last used app. And they won't see anything new until you select a new app. So if I need to then go to PowerPoint, it jumps right to the PowerPoint in the same place that I left off. And so you have really quick app switching in the iPad that makes it really convenient to switch and jump between apps without having to try and blank the projector, ask the judge to change inputs, or do any of the other things that could take up valuable seconds, which will feel like an eternity when you're standing in the well in front of the jurors. If you have an older iPad, one that doesn't have the swipe bar at the bottom, but instead has a physical home button, you'll do the same thing, just you'll get to that app sorter view a little bit differently. You'll just double tap on that home button and then you'll get that same view and then you can select the app. But in terms of the way it works, it's gonna work identically where the jurors will only see the apps that you've selected. They won't see the process when you're selecting which app to go to next. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. That's all I have for today's Monday quick tip. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one.